In this video, we're gonna talk about how to actually make quality content using ChatGBT. Because if you just followed everyone else's tips, generating a bunch of these random ideas, put it out, there's no way you're going to stand out from everybody else because anyone can just do that. So let's get started. Now, before we do, leave me a comment about what type of content you're going to be creating at the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe because we do dive deep into these topics. Okay, so let's start off by talking about what makes for quality content. This is the content that's gonna actually make you get followers, get likes, get interaction. Content that actually resonates and sticks around with people versus just content that is just being listed. And the problem with making content that's just being listed is anyone can do that. Years ago, when the internet space was just small, social media was getting started, yes, you could do that. That's why a lot of these big pages that you see, they're just listing content because they already have a following. They can do that. Whereas you and me, we are just normal people. So we have to make content that stands out, that provides more value than those types of pages so that it actually draws in a crowd, builds a community around what we have to teach. And so the takeaway to making good quality content is you need to go a step further. Don't just list thing. And the advantage of ChatGPT is it leveled the playing field. So anyone can just do research in a matter of seconds, which is actually in your advantage. Because now you have access to this amazing tool and all you have to do is get a understanding of where to go based on what ChatGPT tells you. Now the best way to do this is to jump into an example. Okay, so we're going to go on ChatGPT. I'm on ChatGPT right here and I'm going to prompt it with something to write about. And before we start asking it for suggestions, I like to give it some guidelines and parameters for it to structure its response. So let's go with, hi chat GBT, you are an experienced photographer and blogger who is very knowledgeable in sharing about the subject. Uh, actually, I add social media expert as well. You're a photographer, blogger, and social media expert. Subject of becoming a professional photographer. Please craft your responses to reflect this. Make sure that your responses are optimized for getting as much views on social media as possible. Get as much attention on social media as possible. Are the instructions clear? Okay, so I just gave it a prompt, some guidelines, and I made sure to see if it understand what I gave it. Yes, the instructions are clear. I'll respond to your question in a concise and attention-grabbing manner. Great, so now you have somebody that is a professional in its field. So we're gonna go and ask ChatGPT about becoming a professional photographer. Hi, ChatGPT, I would like to become a professional lifestyle photographer photographing things like the southern california lifestyle beach surf skate can you share some tip on that and lay it out to be in bullet points so i asked it how it would do this and to lay it out in bullet points now i have this structure it's, it's still building so it just finished building and it gave me some things to think about now I'm gonna prompt it to make this for social media. Can you turn this into a, okay? So I'm gonna ask it to turn this into a short form video style content plan. So maybe TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. And this is what it is building for me. So as we can see, it starts off with an introduction, tells you to talk about your style, your inspiration, your experimentation, equipment, portfolio, networking, marketing, versatility, and so on. Now most content creators on youtube would just stop here they'll be like okay here is your content but the thing is anyone could just do this like you just saw we did this in the last five ten minutes and this generated in seconds so how would you take this and change it into a step beyond this superficial level and the answer is simple you dive into the knowledge that you have personally now that is how you stand out from everybody else you need to tap into what is your unfair advantage, which means if you were to talk about this subject, how do you have an unfair advantage over everybody else that is making the same type of content? And the best way to do that is to think about your personal experience. So as I have been a professional photographer shooting lifestyle stuff for a few years in San Diego, 
I can dive into how I would answer these prompts. So instead of seeing it being a bullet type list, consider these as questions. So as you're looking through this, the introduction, okay, in the introduction, you introduce yourself, and then the next part would be what your style is. So you would discuss how you styled your photo. Keep in mind, I'm doing this with the point of view of being a photographer. So we're making content as a photographer. So you can talk about style, how you would do your style. Next, you would go and discuss inspiration, how you're able to find inspiration. So for me, maybe I took a lot of inspiration from surfing and then how I transferred that inspiration and everything that happened in that surf community into the photography that I did. Experimentation could talk about how I've been into shaping rooms and how I were able to test and push the boundaries of what my camera was able to do, which at that point was a 5D Mark II, but this is a long time ago. And then next, equipment. So we just mentioned equipment, but how at that point it was a 5D Mark II, what type of lenses that were out at the time, what my budget was to buy certain lenses and to afford certain opportunities. I would discuss it here. And then portfolio, I could discuss about how portfolios were being built and how I used that portfolio to leverage gigs with big companies that at one point I was a salaried photographer and I only had to send in shoots every month and got paid every single month, which was amazing. And then the next two are networking and marketing. This could be how you network and market yourself and how all of those things work together. So for example, I would mention how I had friends that did social media and then they would introduce me to certain people. And then maybe this other friend I knew who had a big connection with the Jewish business community. So I got a lot of gigs and connections and worked through that. And then finally, versatility. This could be a lesson on how to be versatile. So dig into how I was able to switch many different types of photography based on the certain client that I was working with. So you have to be flexible and then you conclude the video. So the thing is you need to be able to dive into these subjects and topics and not just list them out. Because as you see, listing it out was easily generated and had no extra substance to it. And you're probably not gonna retain a viewer that way. But when you're able to take the next step forward and provide them with a lot more value that they wouldn't find anywhere else and give them this unique perspective that only you have, then they're more likely to stay. So that's it on this video on how to create content with ChatGBT. I will dive deeper into the subject, so make sure you subscribe and stay in touch.